most people don't even know that it's possible. And so there's, when they see it for the first time, it's really amazing. Everett Finley is a high-tech artist. His palette, the night sky. His paintbrush, drones. It's like if the stars were controlled by Beyonce. <laughs> Your mom must be so proud of you. <laughs> He's part of a Toronto startup called Aeroonics. Their goal is to create dazzling light formations. This is just like so incredibly futuristic and weird. These drones uh, fly in formation in like choreographed uh, light shows. So the tech is, is primarily on the software and the communication side of things. So we've designed drones that can fly a whole bunch of them all together in a choreographed show. Basically program any shape, any color that you want. We definitely see drones as being the future of fireworks. It might be less futuristic than we think. This year Intel lit up the sky with 500 drones, setting a new world record in the process. This team hopes to turn that from novelty into just your average light show. So all the drones are laid out in a predefined grid. So I'm just going to put mine down right here. Okay. And you can put yours just over here. And today, I'm here getting schooling in the art of drone painting. Last one down, ready to go. So Everett, we've got everything lined up. It looks a little bit like an alien invasion back <laughs> here. So what's special about these drones? So the drones themselves are, uh, they're not, I mean, they're not really that fantastic. It's really the communication and the software that goes into them. Um, so we've been able to get them to fly a whole bunch of them at once. So we're gonna watch 20 tonight, but the program is uh, designed to handle over 100. Okay, so how do you get them to fly in formation? Is there some sort of algorithm? So everything's uh, pre-programmed in advance and it's all simulated out. So we make sure that the uh, show happens exactly how we want it to. And basically once we hit play, it just goes. Awesome, and you're gonna let me do the honors and press play today. Yeah. Fantastic. You're gonna be in command. Okay, let's go. Let's go All check right, let's it out. It. So right over here, we've got our uh, ground station software that we developed. And so from here, we can control the whole mission. We can see where all the drones are, where on the map that we're going to be flying tonight. Gotcha. And we can monitor all the health of the vehicles as they fly. And I can see that right there, it says altitude. Yeah, that's right. So we can look at like where the altitude is, the GPS location, the lat long where we're going to be flying. So we can basically see everything from here and control everything from here. Okay, so what's the next step now? So the next step, I think we're ready to arm. If you are, do you want okay. to take the... Uh... Arm. <laughs> Hey, do you want to do the honors? Ready, set, drone. Wow, just one lone one. Yeah, we did a staggered takeoff. Oh, I love it. It's so beautiful. And they look like little stars dancing in the sky. OK, so how high are they going right now? So this uh, the maximum height for this show is 75 meters. Um, and normally we try to keep it at under 100 meters height uh, just to make sure that uh, Transport Canada is happy. Oh, look, that's a heart. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Holy cow. So you can do basically anything you want. It's crazy. I feel like I'm watching, like, you know, you go to see, like, meteor showers. It's like that, except in perfect formation. Once that you program it, you can just keep uh, doing it over and over again. So you just recharge the batteries and do the show again. What stops them from bumping into each other? Everything is uh, pre-planned in advance, and we have a bunch of safety checks so to make sure that you're always maintaining a minimum distance between all the vehicles. And uh, now we're just coming into the ending sequence. And they're all going to land right back where they started? That's right, yeah. All right, so here they are coming in for a landing. This is just absolutely breathtaking. I have to tell you, I truly, really feel like I live in the future. I'm glad you're here to enjoy it. Move over, Roswell. The space invaders have landed. <laughs>